Sometimes we feel like we need to know all of the details before we can be obedient, but that is not the case. And I'm going to just point you back to the scripture, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7, for we walk by faith, not by sight, which means that we live our lives trusting God's Holy Spirit to show us the way. And yeah, honestly, sometimes it just looks like guessing. Welcome to Shine Strong, Live Long, where you'll find inspiration for personal and spiritual development for you and I to become who we were designed to be with intentionality. Hi, I'm Christina Eve, and if you are visiting my channel for the first time, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Today, we are talking about practical steps to take in order for us to actually start doing what God told us to do. So when I first started this YouTube channel, I had no idea uh, all that would come out of it. I still don't know, but I did it and I was obedient to God and I started something brand new from scratch, which was terrifying. Um, but it was also really exciting. God helped me to unpack and write down a purpose for this brand. And I just trusted that the scripture that says walk by faith and not by sight was just gonna work for me. <laughs> what is amazing about doing this is that we never know how far we will go or how long it will take us to get there. But while we are walking, God is building our faith and constantly confirming his initial instructions which for me, his instruction was just to go on YouTube. So I said all of that just in case you needed some encouragement today. In my experience, there was never a time when God told me everything, all of the details. <laughs> Usually what he says to me is in like 10 words or less. And I always ask a follow-up question, but he leaves me on red like every single time. So I don't know why I haven't learned that yet. Um, but usually, usually I don't hear anything more until I first do what he told me to do. And maybe you can relate to this. Sometimes we feel like we need to know all of the details before we can be obedient, but that is not the case. And I'm gonna just point you back to the scripture, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7, for we walk by faith, not by sight which means that we live our lives trusting God's Holy Spirit to show us the way and yeah, sometimes that just looks like guessing. <laughs> but in a few moments, I am going to share with you how I try to make the best decisions I can make when I only am left with basic instructions. Let me introduce you to this example. Now here at Shine Strong Live Long, we are willing vessels, right? people who choose to say yes to what God has designed for us. But I'm gonna show you an example of what happens when we don't say yes right away. Y'all remember the story of Jonah and how he fled from what God told him to do and was swallowed by a large fish? If not, I encourage you to read that story because I am gonna reference it a few times today. But God said less than 20 words to Jonah, arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it, for their wickedness is come up before me. That's Jonah chapter one, verse two. If you noticed, God didn't initially tell Jonah how he was supposed to cry against the city of Nineveh. Was Jonah supposed to, I don't know, start a newspaper column, a fancy hashtag campaign, or grab a blowhorn and like stand outside of the city gates? I don't know. And he didn't know either at the time that God initially instructed him to go. So when he finally gets to Nineveh, how does he know what to do? Okay, so let's get into it. When God gives you instructions that are clear, but lacking in details, here is something that I suggest you do. The first thing that you should do is say, okay, God, okay, God, yes. And then pray that the Holy Spirit leads you the right direction. However, that is not what Jonah did. He ran in the opposite direction because he just did not want to do it. But we learned from his story that God has a way of convicting you. 
When Jonah ran and was on the boat, the people around him began to suffer because God sent a great wind that was likely to break the boat. And this scared the men on board. They didn't know what was going on, but Jonah did. He felt guilty and told the men to cast him into the sea so that they would be safe. As a believer of Christ, yes, we have grace through Jesus, but that doesn't mean that our disobedience can't cause trouble for those around us. God has some clever ways to get our attention. The second thing that I want to suggest is that you spend some alone time in God's presence. Show him that you are serious about wanting to get this right. For me, I wrote out some ideas for the channel. I spent some days planning and praying. Jonah had some alone time. It was in the belly of a fish though, uh, and he did pray. Um, the difference is that Jonah was praying for mercy, while because we said yes, we are praying for direction. The third thing that really made a difference for me, and is something that I suggest, is that you seek wise counsel. Now, I'm veering from the story of Jonah for a bit, but this is really helpful. When I was given instruction from God and I didn't know where to start, I did steps one and two, and after that, I had some ideas written down, um, but I wanted to hear from some people that I trusted, that I knew had a good relationship with God and had my best interests in mind. And through communing with a few of them, I got confirmation about a good place to start. And this is important for a few reasons. First, in Matthew chapter 18, verse 20, it says, for where two or three are gathered together in Jesus' name, he is there in the midst. And another reason that this is important is because it builds accountability, which is great. It is a great thing to have because there will be some times, some days, some weeks, where we wanna pull a Jonah. We are human and we may wanna run away from our assignments and our callings, but having someone in your corner that's checking up on your progress in a loving way can really make a difference. Fourth and finally, you cannot spend too much time thinking about how it's going to look and planning the execution. Because when God tells you to do something, usually he means like right now. So start doing the work and God will bless it. He will show you favor as you make strides in the right direction. When Jonah finally did get to Nineveh, which was considered a huge city during that time period, it took like three days for him to walk the entire city. The Lord had a time sensitive message to give to the city through Jonah, which basically said that in 40 days, the city would be overthrown because of the evil things that the people were doing there. 40 days, 40 days, guys. Just imagine if Jonah took too long to pray or too long to plan. He did lose some time by you know going in the opposite direction, but what if he waited seven days in the belly of that fish to say yes to God's instructions? what would have happened to the city of Nineveh. The instruction that God has given us is time sensitive. Life is short and the world is waiting for us. I encourage you to walk by faith and ask the Holy Spirit to lead you to make the right decisions and to go to the right places to fulfill your assignment and live on purpose. So after saying yes, it becomes a little clearer each day what God wants me to do with Shine Strong, Live Long. It is now a YouTube channel and a radio show, soon to hopefully be syndicated maybe or turned into a podcast. I'm not sure exactly. I do know that it has potential to be so much, so much guys. And so I'm just gonna take it one day at a time. In the words of Peter A. Cohen, there is no one giant step that does it. It is a lot of little steps. The steps that may seem little, if you are stepping in the right direction, then you are further along than you were the day before. Even if you cannot see it now, we will understand it better by and by. <laughs> Remember that today is a new day, a day where you and I have been given the opportunity to choose better, 
love stronger and shine brighter than the day before shine strong live long